Hey, and welcome to another one of these things. You ever have one of those days where you're just like, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Kind of like this picture here and how I'm erasing everything instead of drawing it. That's how bad the markers were. They were so dried out, they were actually taking the ink from the paper. Anyway, so yeah, I don't know what to do with my life. Uh, then you try and go out and figure out what to do with your life, and it's really difficult. I mean, there's so many choices. The whole universe is an oyster thing? Yeah, big friggin' oyster. So, I'm a science major, but not like an actual science currently. I'm trying to get into an actual science. I'm biological sciences? which is like, it's a Bachelor of Arts degree instead of a Bachelor of Science degree. To get a Bachelor of Science degree, you have to take a lot more biochemistry. And the actual major I wanted to go into was biotechnology, but they're not offering the classes at my school anymore, so they canceled that major. So now the only other major option that I would have is like genetics and molecular sciences of biology which gives you a bachelor of science instead of a bachelor of art and it's all annoying because for that major you have to do a senior thesis and then you have to take a billion classes and it's for those kids who took all of the AP classes in school and you know have like four years of college done by the time they hit senior year it's rather annoying you always secretly hate those people because they had it all together at some point in their life. And then there's you, who doesn't at any point in their life. So, yeah. Finding a major, trying to figure out what I'm doing. I want to get a degree in biological sciences because I feel that when you're going to college, you should go to learn a skill. People who come to college and get a degree in communications, or psychology, or English, and don't plan on being a teacher. I paused before English there because I, I know a lot of English people, and there are people who go to college and get an English degree and then teach English. And I feel that that's a very good policy to actually get a degree in what you plan on teaching instead of getting a degree in teaching and then teaching. I mean, because wouldn't it make, wouldn't you want the most qualified person, like someone who actually passed college, to get a degree in the thing that you want to do to teach you, as opposed to someone who got a degree in something completely different and may or may not know anything about the subject that they're trying to teach you? Anyway, so I'm trying to get a degree in biological sciences because that is a skill set. That is learning how to do labs, learning how to think logically and critically which I already know how to do, mostly. I'm not learning anything in these classes. They're all review. They're doing everything I learned in high school because I didn't take the friggin' AP test. They can't let me test out of them, and I'm just kind of sitting there bored and getting horrible grades because of it. By horrible grades, I mean like Bs, which is like a horrible grade for me in my mind. So yeah, college. So I'm trying to get into the molecular sciences major trying to get a bunch of internships because internships are the way of God and employment. And it's really difficult, I mean, because you have to have experience to get the good experience. But to get any experience, you have to, like, know people and get lucky breaks. And I'm the person who have ha who's had a lot of lucky breaks in my life. That's how I got where I am right now. But there are people who get, like, even luckier breaks, and I'm slightly jealous of them. I'm jealous of a lot of people, and that makes me such a hypocrite. Because, well, everyone gets lucky breaks. And I just really need one right now to get an internship for, you know, like, a virology lab in Alabama. And I get housing, and that's, like, the most perfect internship ever. And, yeah, that'd be cool if I got it.